You want to get fabric mods in Minecraft? This video is going to show you exactly how to do that in 2025. This will work for the most recent version of Minecraft at the time of release, but should work for all the future versions as well. Because if you go to the first link in the description down below, that's where you're going to need to go to download fabric anyway. It will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting fabric. Not only can we keep the text version up to date, which we do. This is always up to date for the most recent version of fabric. We also keep the video up to date. So when this video comes out, it'll be the video featured here. However, let's say 1.22 or 1.23 comes out in the future and you found this video. Well, the video for that version will be here. Always the most recent version of Minecraft is what's featured. Nevertheless, go to this link. Second one down below and it will take you here. This is how you, where you can download the fabric installer and specifically the fabric mod loader. Go ahead and click download fabric. Go to fabric's official download page. On this download page, click this little download universal jar link here. When you do it, we'll go ahead and start downloading. Maybe the keeper safe fabric. It's 100% safe to do that. Just go ahead and save it there. While that's downloading, how to from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown. .xyz sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods, fabric mods, forge mods, any kind of mods you want to your server in just a few clicks. Plus, there's even one-click installation of hundreds of mod packs, meaning it's super easy to start playing mod in Minecraft with your friends. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. Let's say you add a mod. Suddenly, your server doesn't start. Live chat support there is there to help you out. So you can check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below to break down .xyc says SGH and start your Minecraft server, vanilla or modded, the simple way. With Fabric downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and what we want to do is move the Fabric file we downloaded to our desktop. That's going to be this Fabric installer file here. Once this is on our desktop, go ahead and right click on it, click on open with, click Java and the Fabric installer will now open unless you don't have Java there, right? If you don't have Java, when you right click and open with, or you do, you click on it, it doesn't work, you need to download Java from the description down below. Currently, that's Java 21, but like I said, these articles are updated. So if it says Java 22, Java 23, Java 35, whatever it says here, you want to make sure that that's the version you get, because that's the version you're going to need for the most recent version of Fabric and in Minecraft in general. This is a complete guide on getting Java. It covers everything. We've also got the jar fix. That's going to link the jar files to your computer back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix and you'll be able to open the fabric installer by right clicking on it clicking on open with clicking java and it will open right like so then just make sure 1.21.4 is selected unless you want another version like 1.22 or 3 or whatever in the future but make sure the version you want is selected here then go ahead and click install the only reason this wouldn't work is if minecraft or the minecraft launcher are open make sure both of those are closed and you want to make sure that you've played the version of minecraft you're installing fabric for for example if in the future you are installing fabric for minecraft 1.22 and have never played that version you're going to want to make sure you go play that open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and you'll be good to go. Now let's just go ahead and click OK and close out of the Fabric installer. We can then delete it from our desktop. Let's open up the Minecraft launcher here. Now Fabric's interesting because you don't play Fabric or play Minecraft with Fabric before installing your mods. You can install your mods first, then play Minecraft. But we do need to open up the mod loader no matter what. If we go to installations here, we should have a fabric loader installation. If not, make sure mod is checked in the top right. As soon as we check it, there it is. But if you still don't have it or it's for the wrong version, click new installation. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because it's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. Then go ahead and click the versions drop down box here. Here we want to find the fabric loader for the version we want. In our case, that's fabric loader 1.21.4. Could be a different version for you. Then I'm going to set the resolution so you can see better once we get in game. Now, this is pretty important for fabric because like I said we don't need to play the game in order to install the mods so make sure launch after install is not checked this should not be checked click to install here if it prompts you to play don't do it click cancel all we now want to do is install our mods, which means we need to download some. So in the description down below, we have two links, one to CurseForge and one to Modern. Those are the most popular places for getting Minecraft mods. On CurseForge, we want to filter for Fabric Mods. So on the left-hand side, we can scroll down, filter for Fabric Mod Loader, and then the game version. In our case, that's 1.21.4, but like I said, it could be a different version for you in the future. Now, we're going to be getting Waystones here, and there's a reason for that, and that's because Waystones needs a dependency mod. And a lot of times, you'll install a mod like Waystones, and it won't work. That's because you need the dependency. We're going to show you how to find that here. So go to Waystones here. We want to go to Files. And then we want to sort for the game version and the mod loader we want, which is Fabric 1.21.4. This is the version.
version we want, but don't, don't download it. Click on it. Then click related projects. As you can see here, we have two things we need. The Fabric API and BOM. The Fabric API and BOM and all this is actually linked in the description down below if you want to skip that process. But the Fabric API is something that pretty much every Fabric mod will need. So it's pretty important to go ahead and grab it. Let's go ahead and open both of these in a new tab. And we want to make sure we're downloading the Waystones version here. That'll download after a few seconds. With pretty much any mod you download, you need to keep or save it. Safe to do that on CurseForge and Modern. Don't trust other sites too much, to be honest with you, because a lot of times they can be, you know, kind of malicious. But luckily, CurseForge and Modern scan everything before it's uploaded. For the Fabric API, we want to download the 1.21.4 version. This is only for Fabric, so I'm not even going to check to make sure it is for the correct mod loader. And then the same thing for BOM as well. We want to go ahead and download when we go to BOM here and go to Files, the 1.21.4 Fabric version. There it is. Click the three dots and click download. If you were to miss these mods, right, these dependency mods, you would install Waystones and it wouldn't work. A lot of people quit modding Minecraft because of that. So I always like to make sure that we showcase how to see that. Now, you can also see this on Modernth. We can store it on the left-hand side for 1.21.4 Fabric. And then we can also find Waystones on this page as well, or we can search for Waystones. And let me show you how you would see that again. You go to versions here, and then you would search for the fabric platform for the version you want and then click on this then there are the dependencies bomb and the fabric api cool that both the mod websites easily have these available for you to get them because uh, like i said it often breaks modded installations nonetheless at this point we can go ahead and minimize our browser and install these we want to move them from our downloads folder here to our desktop it's going to be all three of these then we want to go to installations hover over our fabric installation either one you created or the one that was there by default and click the folder icon this will open up your dot minecraft folder now in here you should have a mods folder if you don't have a mods folder just right click create a new folder and title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that open your mods folder and drag and drop any fabric mods you want to install right here into that mods folder now all we need to do to play them is play minecraft using our fabric installation again either one that was there by default or the one that you created click play click play again minecraft will now open with in this case waystones installed and running so here we are on the main menu. There's no way to see the mods you have installed, unfortunately, with Fabric, unless you install a mod that allows you to do that. So we're just going to go ahead, jump into single player here, into this world that already has Waystones installed on it. And if we go ahead, and, well, there's a Waystone. We can right-click on it, and we can teleport easily to another one here. Teleport to another one. You can see I've kind of made a triangle here. You can even see all of them in creative mode here. All of that stuff, that shows it's working, but you didn't want this specific mod. You wanted Fabric mods, and you now know how to get them. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your fabric mods and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.